Okay, so it's golden hour here at Greenbelt Festival. I got a beer, I got some grass. I believe there is a common good themed Kaylee going on somewhere in the background. I wanted to talk to you about something I learnt today. I always learn so much at this festival. Sometimes it's people I meet and sometimes it's just like words for ideas. And one of the words that I learnt from a theologian in hot pants. <laughs> I'll find out her name and I'll put it in the description. Uh, but I had to go up and I had to go up to her at the end and ask how to what that phrase was called when she was talking about it because I was like I need that phrase in my life. Um, so it's called the Overton window. I don't think it's a good thing to listen to your haters. I don't. Let's not do that. But I have been trying to think more deeply about the kind of criticisms that come my way or at least come at the way of people like me because I'm trying to get out of my echo chamber I'm trying to listen to the other side of narratives and understand at least how they think like that and it's led me down a lot of right-wing holes I think in the internet and on TV um, that I've really struggled with here at the festival there's a whole tent and all day program all day every day about the Islamic faith and how that intersects with Christianity, how that intersects with the rest of the world and there's lots of like really cool, like I went to a theatre thing today, how the Quran and the Bible and the stories within them like cross over, it's really really interesting. This theologian was talking about um, this theory that I think C.S. Lewis talked about where there's two people standing and looking at a mountain but when they're standing even if they're standing next to each other, they see the mountain a little bit differently. So they can have a conversation where they're like, well, I see the mountain like this. And the other person will say, well, that's nice, but I see the mountain like this. But the further away you're standing from that person, the less likely you are going to be able to link their description of the mountain with what you're seeing from where you're standing. Going down rabbit holes of what other people think is a good way to understand where you might be in relation to the mountain. But what the theologian was talking was about this thing called the Overton window, where it's what you consider changing your mind on. So you sit here and there's like some beliefs here and there's some beliefs here and these are the ones that you might be able to be swayed on. I had to come behind a tree because people were watching me and I just couldn't. What I got from that was that maybe the most effective thing isn't always constantly to be getting in the mind of my enemies. Although while that's a good thing, focusing all my energy on trying to understand the absolute opposite point of view might not be the way forward. It's also about trying to understand the people who are next to you, the people who are maybe one step further away from your beliefs. And also knowing what your Overton window are, what are the things that you're willing to be swayed on, the things that you're not sure about, the things that you might not have heard enough perspectives on to get, and the things that you're like, no, this is where I'm standing, this is not in my Overton window. For example, racism, not in my Overton window. <laughs> Sexism, also not. But some of the varying arguments around those topics are interesting to listen to. And maybe it's not by talking to the people on the opposite side of the mountain to you, but the people who are maybe around the corner <laughs> that are the ways that things will change. It doesn't sound as grand. It's not gonna give you a cool theology, fox and the hound kind of story, but it's something to think about. Yeah.